Hi children, you are welcome to another lesson. The name of the, the lesson is the eleven talk. This is the poem from Hornbill, and we'll start the lesson now. So to begin with, my dear children, so let us see one picture. So in the, the picture, what we can uh, see? So have you seen this uh, particular image earlier? Have you seen it earlier? This image, this sort of a tree, have you seen? What is the color of it? The color is certainly yellow. What is the name of it? It is called lemon tree. Lemon tree, sone ka bars. So, my dear children, today we will be starting with uh, this uh, point that actually everywhere we can uh, see gold and gold, whether it is the tree, the, the bird, whether it is the color of the, the leaf, everything is yellow, yellow like uh, the gold and we will enjoy the, the poem when you go through it and when you learn it uh, from it in English. Therefore, say, let us uh, simply learn from it in English. Let us start. Let's go. So, my dear children, this is the particular poem we are going to start with now. So, to begin with, I will make a model reading of the poem and then you will try to understand whether you can understand the literal meaning of it. In a particular poem, you can see it is not only the, the literal meaning but also the annotation but also the implied or the indirect meaning but also the symbolic meaning in it means it may mean a lot of things our thinking is open to all the, the field it may be the, the economic field it may be the, the religious field it may be the, the, the society the development of the, the society everything everything may be represented by the, the poem because the poet is a creature the poet is a representative of the, the society that he lives therefore it is better that in the beginning to begin with let us start with the model reading of the, the, of the poem so that we can understand the sound we become familiar with the found, sound and we begin to think critically therefore let us start here we begin the lemon tuff tet hue this sound is hue tet hue the lemon tuff is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its seeds for land till the golfin comes with a twitching giraffe, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end, then sleek as lizard and alert and alert, she enters the thickness and a machine stirs up of chittering and a tremor of her wings and trillings. The whole tree trembles and thrills. It is the engine of her family. She strokes its full, then flutters out to branch end, showing her bare face identity mask. Then let us continue. Here you go. Let us continue. Then with a very delicate whistle syrup, whispering she launches away towards the infinite and the leaven subside to empty so my dear children now will be starting the explanation of the poem and i suppose you understood the sound the rhythm of the poem and also you begin to understand you begin to begin to think critically on this particular poem so today we will be starting with this poem and the poem talks about talks about what talks about the eleven talks about the particular tree 
tree is the part of the, the forest it forms the it forms the, the part of the, the nature and it also give adornment or the, the beauty it enhances the, the beauty of nature and make us living a thing of beauty is a joy forever means as soon as we see the thing of beauty it thrills the, the mind and it becomes a treasure to be cherished in the, the years to come therefore we will be starting with now this bird the tree and what is its relation with the, the poet with the, the society and also with the, the people everything we will see first we will see the, the literal meaning of the, the poem we will be starting with the, the biography of the, the author or the poet and then we will continue in a very systematic manner starting with the, the synopsis or the introduction to the poem there you go let's continue so my dear children the name of the, the poem as you have seen this uh, color should have been this uh, color should have been yellow in color or golden in color golden color therefore let me take the, the yellow color okay this is the, the yellow color because everything we were talking here in terms of yellow it is not the yellow yellow dirty fellow but it is yellow yellow good fellow we will be talking about here you go let's continue this the poem is written by an important English poet name of the English poet is Ted Hume he was a very famous sub poet he was a very famous poet and if we get to learn or if we learn some other poems of the, the poet then our understanding becomes better so he wrote the, the poem the jaguar okay this uh, jaguar actually belongs to the film the family of the, the tiger so this this is this actually shows the power the jaguar is having therefore some of the, the aeroplane or air buses air buses are also named after that particular poem jaguar have you got it therefore let us continue with the poet the poet Tetu, he was uh, born on 17 August 1930, Mytholi Royd, United Kingdom. He was born in the, the United Kingdom and uh, the name of the, the place was Mytholi Royd, Mytholi Royd and it was uh, on 17 August 1930, 1930. He died on 28 October 1998. He died in the particular place named North Teuton that is in the United Kingdom that is also in the United Kingdom his education was in Primbrook College University of Cambridge therefore let us continue now so here we move so this is the image of the this is the image of the fight Tate Hugh Tate Hugh so let us uh, go through Tate Hugh. Tate Hugh was a modern English poet and a critic ranked as one of the, the best poets of the, the period. Means he is one of the 20th century poet who is a very remarkable poet and a critic too. He is a critic too. Among the, the important poets of the, the latter, latter half of the, the 20th century, Tate Hughes' special contribution to the English poetry lies in the, the creation of the, the poetic world with a central interest in wild animal and birds. So my dear children, so from this pair we can understand about his creation of the poem and particularly the theme or the, the subject that he frequently deals with. So in his uh, poem, he takes the, the symbol of the animal. He takes the, the symbol of the animal. Have you heard of Animal Farm? Okay. By George Orwell. So symbolic this writing is. It is allegorical in terms. Okay. I am using this uh, words because you will have to be familiar with this word. You will have to be familiar with this poetic devices or the figure of speech. 
now the poet use this animal and the bird as the symbol as the symbol his poetic inspiration is born out of and focused on the peculiar but intimate influence that animals of the forest trees and the skies have a sensitive human spirit we could uh, notice in the, the poem of Tethu that he got the intimate influence from the, the animals that live in the forest and the, the that lives in the forest and that have connection with the, the human soul or human spirit. Now let us uh, go to the, the poem. Here we go. The central idea first we will see the, the central idea or the synopsis of the, the poem. So here we go. Let us continue. The poem that the Lavern talk is a beautiful poem in which the poet has used the Lavern tree and gold fences as a symbol of life and its fluctuation. See, my dear children. So it is a beautiful poem. And here the poet has used the Lavern tree and the gold fences as a symbol of life and its fluctuation. Fluctuation ka meaning kya hai? Fluctuation means the change. Okay? The frequent change. That is called the fluctuation. That means these are trees and the birds. Golfin also is a bird. The color of which also is golden color, yellow color. Therefore, this actually stands for or symbolical of life. Okay? That means that means the, the tree, the tree or the, the bird, bird in the form of gold fins. Okay, I am writing G of gold fin actually stands for life and its vagary. Life and its vagaries means life and its changes. Life and its changes, fluctuation. In this point that the poet describes how the visit of a dolphin changes the level tree. So my dear children, I am just giving you a hint on to the theme, the variety of the, the theme. Initially you will see that there is a particular particular bird, the dolphin comes to the golden color, golden color tree and after coming, after coming there what it does, so it does begin to begin to sing. It, it begin to cheer up, it begin to trills. Now, this bird may be, this bird, this bird may be what? This may be man. The arrival of the man on this earth and after that what happened, everybody becomes happy, he continues his life, he enjoys the life and after that, towards the end, what he does, he departs silently, he departs to infinity. He departs to the infinity. He goes where? Nobody knows. So such is the case here too. So this is not a mere simple poem. If we simply understand that this is Levanty or it is about the gold fields, then the poem will lose the all significance. It will lose all the importance or the significance. Therefore, it, it tells what doesn't meet our eyes. It tells more than what our eyes meet. Therefore, let us go. Let us see the, the next part. The goldfinch transform the, the tree and make it alive as the, as the chicks of the, the goldfinch start to rustle and, and chirp on seeing her. Now, we are talking about the mother goldfinch. The mother goldfinch went in search of the food and when, when it came, so that the chicks or the, the small ones, they were waiting for the, the mother as soon as, uh, as, soon as the, the mother brought the, brought the food items or the food grains. They were, they were taking immense pleasure while they were eating it, they were devouring it, they were tasting it. Therefore, therefore the whole tree just begin to, begin to sound, begin to be very vigorous with a lot of sounds as if it is an engine, it is an engine of a machine. So my dear children, when we are talking about the engine, we are talking about the engine. 
सो so, द पॉइंट यूज इट वेरी डेलीवरेटली क्योंकि जो टाइम में ये कवि का जन्म हुआ था वो टाइम था इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन का पिक टाइम था देर फोर ही एक्चुअली रेफर्स टू वट ही रेफर्स टू द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन इन इंग्लैंड इन अदर पार्ट ऑफ द ग्लोब एंड इट इज रीचिंग टू द समिट इट इज रीचिंग टू द टप देर फोर लेट कंटिन्यू हियर गो The Levant it symbolizes the pattern of our life in general, which is usually dull and in animate. Pattern of our life in general, which is usually dull and in animate. So now let us see this is the Levant tree, which is a which is a golden in color. It is the it actually symbolizes the pattern of our life. It is not simply a Levant tree. it is a symbol of the, the pattern of our life pattern of our lives so we are talking about the levan 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 tree levan tree levan tree is the pattern of our life so which is usually dull and inanimate so life is very dull and inanimate there is no life in in life as as the levant tree when when the 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 birds were not there at that time it was a so still so calm so dull so monotonous there was no life at all as it was as still as day as the monotonous as silence therefore our life also is similar and he actually do wanted to mean about life in general the golf in the breath the usual pattern and make it lively now as soon as the golf in comes then the water happen life is made very much lively very much sportive very much enjoyable very much entertaining very much very much beaming with activities beaming with activities without the golf in the levant tree is so just like another another tree now see that the levant tree the levant tree levant tree minus the goldfinch minus the goldfinch minus the goldfinch is equal to what it is it is equal to do it is equal to do what simple tree another simple tree another simple tree another simple tree which is not having so much importance or significance in other words it is the attitude of the person towards the life that makes life meaningful and worthy in another way we can also tell that it is the attitude of the person towards the life that make life meaningful and worth living then let us go to the explanation of the poem we'll be going to the explanation of the poem this the poem starts with the starts with the eleven talk which is very silent means in the starting you can see that it's so silent let me read out the, read out the part the eleven talk is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september light a few leaves yellowing all its seed fallen these are the first three lines in the end also in the, the last stanza also it actually has how many lines three lines only then with the eerie delicate whistle sir of whispering she launches out towards the infinite and the levant subside to empty once again towards the end also the the sound of the, the poem is is nil there is no sound at all it is quite empty it is soundless but in the middle what we see there is the advent or the arrival or the coming of the goldfinch and the arrival or the coming of the goldfinch changes the whole environment of the of the tree it give life it give all the activity it makes it very much entertaining therefore let us go let us see the explanation of the poem can we move so this is the poem my dear children the levant top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight 
a few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen, till the goldfinch comes with the twitching shoulder up, a suddenness, a startlement, at a branch end, then slick as a ledger, and alert and abrupt, shaking towards the thickness, and a machine stirs up, of tutoring and of tremor of her wings and trillings, that the whole tree trembles and thrills. It is the engine of her family. She stalks with full, then flutters out to branch and showing her beard mass identity. Then with every delicate whistle served up, whispering, she lunches away towards the infinite and the leaven subsides to empty. Here you can understand that the beginning and the ending of the poem is very monotonous, very sad, very silent, very empty. So you can write the meaning of this word. So leaven, this leavenum is the golden chain tree, golden chain tree. So you write this meaning, meaning of the word. You can enter the meaning of this word. The leaven, the golden chain tree, commonly found a tree with the golden flowers that hangs in bunches. Okay. So the color of the flower also golden in color or yellow in color and they hang the bunches of it, the bunches of it hangs. Leaven top means the top part of the leaven tree, goldfinch is the, is the, is the particular bird and it is, a, it is a, the male of this species, a black marking act with the face under the wings and trails. So we are talking about the male of, the, of this particular species which is the black mark black mark black mark on the, the face black stripe black mark or the black s t r i stripe there will be black mark or the black stripe on the, the on the, the face which is the identity of it twitch means making an involuntary uh, involuntary involuntary movement of the, the body twitching twitching is the involuntary movement of the, the body Giraffe is a capturing of the, the sound made by bird. Startlement means amazement. So all this word we will have to know and, and understand. So many of the, the words are there my dear children which are very uncommon. Therefore we will be going line by line and we will understand the, the poem in short. So here we go. Let us continue. We start now. The leaven top is a silent, quite still in the afternoon, yellow September sunlight, a few leaves are yellowing, all its seeds fallen, all its seeds fallen. So initially we are talking about the, the leaven tree, the color of which is yellow in color and the time is, what is the time? The time is September, the time is September. We are talking about the tree. The tree is lavern tree, L A B U R N U M, lavern tree. And it is at the evening time, it is at the evening time, it is the evening time. In the September, month of the September, towards the evening time, it is a still, it is a still hot evening, hot evening, and therefore the color of the, the sun becomes golden. Therefore, you will see that. In the first stanza itself, there is the gold and gold, gold everywhere. So when we are talking about the leaven, when you are talking about the leaven tree, it is golden in color. When you are talking about the evening time, the evening sunlight, that also is yellow in color. And more particularly, when you are talking about the leaf also, that is also yellow. That is also yellow because, because it is the time of the autumn and the leaves are turning turning yellow and majority of the leaves already already has fallen. The seeds also have fallen, means that they are waiting for the, the they are waiting for the next season for their for their upbringing and for their growth. Therefore, in the, in the beginning of the poem we see that everything is very still, very, very still, very silent, very monotonous, very monotonous, monotonous or very dark. Because there is no entertainment, just like life is very dull, 
without a without a some of the some of the music music may be in any form okay music may be in the form of getting the, the job music may be in the, the form of good news rather so all this actually contribute to the music of life so if all these things are not there then life becomes so dull so monotonous so such is the case here also we see that the lavender tree it is of course golden it is of course of course a very bright it is of, of course very attractive but still then it is lifeless because because it is dead or it is avoid it is a, it is deprived of deprived of its engine that is the, the goldfinch which is also golden in color therefore let us see the explanation of the poem once again so here you go let us continue let's see the explanation that the poet describes a beautiful sunny autumn we are talking about the autumn and it is the month of september it is a, it is a, it is a sunny means it is a not it is a not a cloudy the level to it is a silent and still it is a silent it is a still it is a serene as e r e n e means pin of silence no sound is there there is a peacefulness in it it is a laden with the yellow leaves it is a laden with means it is a full with it is a full with what full with the yellow leaves and the leaves are turning yellow in the month of september its the leaves have turned yellow because of the autumn season and all its seeds have already fallen it is already fallen it is a very tender ground to take its birth once again when there will be monsoon when there will be rain and when there will be wind and it will be it will be thrown or stashed to different places therefore now if winter comes can spring be for we hint if a bad day comes then can the good day be for we hint in the similar manner if the less is there in our life then certainly the sunny or the bright guests are also very much avoided therefore in the second stanza we will see the arrival of the goldfinch after the arrival of the goldfinch as if the spring of life stirs because because there is activities there is a happiness there is joy and there is activities in the in the tree and everybody is so happy so lively so exuberant therefore let us see stanza number 2 till the goldfinch comes with a twitching sorrow a suddenness of startlement at a branch end so my dear children this is called onomatopoeic word ono ono meto peak what means some words are there this also a poetic device or a figure of speech this also a poetic device poetic device or poetic device or figure of speech in a which the word itself tell the meaning word itself the word itself tell the meaning like the sound suppose we are talking about the talking about the, the falling of the, the falling of the, the falling of the the, 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 the leaves of the, the tree or we are talking about the, some of the, the other words the words itself talk about the talk about the the meaning so see, similar is the case here also that is called trap okay that is called the trap anukar means it actually emits the the what itself emitted to the sound that is the, that it produces so now in the second part we see that there is a sudden or there is there is quick change there is change in the in the life of the life of the, the gold life of the lemon tree so what is the, the change my dear children so the change is initiated by the arrival of the goldfinch goldfinch is a bird this is a bird what is the color of this bird this is a color of this bird also is a bright yellow bright yellow in color okay and this bird comes and how did how that does it come it comes giving the, the 
twitching sound twitching also is a short chirping sound short chirping sound and it comes without giving introduction like hello i am coming hello i am coming not like that all of a sudden without giving an introduction or the start it comes all of a sudden means its arrival is very very abrupt it arrival is very abrupt a b r e p t abrupt means means what very dramatic very dramatic means what very sudden very sudden all of a sudden it comes and a startlement startlement means what amazement a m a j e m e n t amazement means after the arrival one get startled okay one get s t a r t l startled means surprise astonished wonder so this is the, the this is the this is the kind this is the way in which the, the bird came the bird came all of a sudden okay it came suddenly it gave a kind of kind of shock or it gave a kind of alarm it gave a kind of kind of startlement or amazement and it came to the end of the verse in which manner it came it came all of a sudden with startlement and it it came came to the end of the bar end of the branch of the tree then let us continue there we go then sleek as a lizard and alert in a brat she entered the thickness and a machine starts up of tutorings a tremor of wings and trillings the whole tree tremendous trembles and trills my dear children very very interesting this part of the of the, the poem so all of a sudden so we are talking about how many goldfinches we are talking about kitne goldfinches ke bare mein hum baat kar rahe hain we are talking about only one goldfinch and it is the it is the mother mother goldfinch it is the mother goldfinch it is the guardian it is the guardian in the absence of the guardian what exactly happened to the family the family become very dull very uninteresting they actually leave they they actually lose the luxurian nature they actually lose the liveliness liveliness they are for <clears throat> the life in the form of the mother came and as soon as the mother came then what happened the the tree got the life tree got the life then sleek as a lizard so this a sleek ya means of what this a sleek ya means of what sleek means very hoji sleek ya means of what hindi mein chikna bolte chikna okay here in the, in this poem the meaning will be meaning will be in a very comfortable manner okay in a very comfortable manner i mean i mean <clears throat> in, a, in a in a very very cozy way then sleek as lizard and alert so it is a, it is a, as a sleek as as what as sleek as a lizard so now you see this there is again another figure of speech what is the name of the figure of speech then sleek as lizard means the golfin is as lizard means the movement of the golfins is the compared to what lizard how this lizard actually comes so so the lizard while it is moving on the wall of your house so how it moves okay it is moving in this manner it is moving in this manner it is moving in this manner means so it is not moving in uniform speed or motion okay it start all of a sudden and then after after making journey for for a while again start so in this in this manner the golfin also comes and it a movement is as slick or as cozy as the laser and alert and abrupt it is it is alert means it is a giving kind of alarm and okay what is the kind of the alarm that my dear children you do not be afraid you should not be should not be anxious or you should not be concerned okay 
concerned about anything of your life. I have come here with a food and you should not be worried and you are very much assured. That is the kind of Buddha. A lot he gives and he comes and in a very, in a very stealthy manner. In a very stealthy manner. Means very silently what it does, it enters the, enters the thickness of the, the tree. It enters the thickness and a machine starts up of, of teetering. Here you see this uh, word, my dear children, machine stirs. This the machine, what is the, what is the machine? Machine is the, machine is the particular, particular vehicle. Okay? Particular, particular structure, particular structure. Therefore, the machine starts up. Means, uh, who is uh, compared to the machine then? The mother goldfinch is compared to the machine. Why is a computer so? Because as soon as he enters, then all sort of activity, the activity, activity like the, the, the trillings, the tremor, trembling and thrilling, cheatering, all this activity started after the arrival of the, the goldfinch and therefore it is a compared to two machine and this comparison, my dear children, is indirect or implied comparison. Right? Here we can see another let us uh, see. There are two things A and B. And if uh, if the, the comparison is indirect. Okay. So what we are comparing here? The goldfinch, the mother goldfinch is uh, compared to what? Compared to, to the machine. What is the validity of the comparison? The validity of the comparison is uh, that as soon as uh, the mother goldfinch comes, so all sort of activity all sort of activity, all sort of exuberance, all sort of liveliness started. Therefore, the goldfinch is compared to the machine. And when this comparison is met indirectly, it is called the metaphor. Kya bolte hai? It is called the metaphor. Therefore, there is use of metaphor in this in this word. In this word, when the poet talks about the activity as in the machine, the activities. Into the into the tree as in the machine machine of the tree starts up of cheatering cheatering of cheatering means this also the sound made by the made by the, the birds means the chicks c h i c k s chicks or chickens means that the small ones of the bird goldfinch what they meet they meet the cheatering sound mummy mummy what are what are you doing just give me the food okay this sort of cheatering sound made by the made by the young one or the two of the, the or the, the chicks and a tremor of wings tremor means a what tremor means the vibration vibration you know tremor is related to, to what the arctic means it begin to vibrate it begin to tremble it begin to shake it begin to move why it begin to move it begin to move because of the movement of the, the wings because of the movement of the, the wings of the, the chickens or the, the chicks the whole tree, whole branch of the tree begin to begin to tremble, tremble like anything. And they begin to trail, means they begin to sing. They begin to sing. Why they begin to sing? Because they are very happy at the arrival, at the advent of the mother. The whole tree trembles and thrills. It is the engine, engine of her family. Who is the engine of the family? So now in this line there is the use of the metaphor. So this it actually refers to the bird and it is it is regarded as this bird is equal to the bird is equal to the engine. This is the kind of the comparison and as the comparison is indirect, as the comparison is indirect, point of similarity is more. Therefore the what uses this figure of speech name is named as Matter. Then uh, what she does? She stocks its full. Means she stocks. This is talking maybe striking also. This is talking maybe adding fuel. Add fuel. Like adding fuel to the, the fire. Either the fire is uh, burning. When we are adding some fuel like kerosene or the, the other petrol or other then it will be burning like anything. 
so at the arrival at the arrival of the bird dolphins as if as if it is adding fuel to the activity of the activity of the of the birds activity of the birds its stockets are full its stockets are full means the the bird but actually giving full life to the, the to the tree then flies out to the branch and showing her bare face identity more now see my dear children so after that when all this activity is over then the bird what it does it shows it shows the face it shows the face which is having some stripe mark and just by showing the showing the this mark of face it is tied to face it goes away to infinity it goes away to infinity means my dear children in direct speaking it may be the departure of the, the man date of the, the man it may refer to the departure of the man or departure of death of the, the man after death what happens to the life nobody knows it is it is a presumed that life particularly the soul goes to the, the goes to the sky okay that is the kind of the, the belief in the, the similar manner this bird also the goes to the goes or flutters out flutters out means flutting out means moving moving move okay move abruptly a b r u p t l y abruptly this is moving m o v i n g moving so in this manner what we see is that at the end the bird the bird is moving to the branch and shows a show the bird a face which is her identity mask so now my dear children come let us come to the last part of the poem here you go let us continue so before that let us see the explanation let us see the explanation of the poem just then a goldfin and a light on the lavender tree making short and high pitch sound the goldfin has a nest into the tree and her cheeks are resting into the nest on the mother's return a sudden movement stirs stirs the, the tree her little ones are excited on her arrival and start to rap the cautious mother enters the, the tree with a great care so that no predator can come to know that her babies are housed in the nest the poet has compared the alert abrupt and slick movement of the golfin to the that of a lizard the golfin has been called the engine of her family just as the engine starts up machine her arrival in the nest has suddenly started up the silent machine or the nest that is that the young ones have started chuttering and making noise why feeding her young once she has added well to the machine and as a result of the chick now have the energy to be active and make noise after feeding her chick the goldfin flies up and rest on the end of the branch of the tree her identity concealed behind the yellow flowers and yellowing leaf then let us come to the last stanza stanza number 3 and here we will see only three lines therefore let us go and see the lines then with a very delicate whistle to rough whispering she launches away towards the infinite this is the next line second line then with a very delicate whistle to rough whispering she launches away towards the infinite and the lever subsides to empty so eri means a what eri means eri means the mysterious man eri means mysterious m y s mysterious mysterious means odd means strange s t r a n g is strange eri delicate whistle sarab whispering she launches away towards she launches away launches means start but here in the context of the, the poem the meaning of this what will be going away 
launching means will be going away to infinite means infinity means limitless here in the context of the, the poem the meaning will be in the sky therefore towards the end of the, the poem you can see that the bird has all of a sudden what it does it uh, goes to the, the infinity or goes to the goes to the towards the, the sky just by making a delicate whistle like chirrup which sounds like whispering and as a result of the, the departure of this bird the leaven once again subsides to empty the leaven once again become very empty very silent very dull very monotonous very uninteresting quite boring therefore my dear children this is the end of the poem now we will see some of the questions and answer uh, so before that i will tell you so that the literal meaning we have already talked up and there is uh, the deeper meaning also we have up inter there is the, the literal meaning the revel of the bird and the changes that is the meat this is the literal meaning some other interpretation of the poem is that it has some some relation with the development it is the, the industrial development of the of the world also it also goes beyond the other text we can see that the animal animal symbolism is used in order to tell something a very different different term or character it talks about the it talks about the life which is very dull and it talks about the arrival of life and also the departure of the departure of it therefore there is a metaphorical or a connotative meaning of the poem also and moreover there is a, some personal meaning personal meaning of the, the poem too so that you met a sylvia plath his a wife on february 26 1954 they were married for about four months later on june 16 1956 and separated after seven years in 1962 therefore this may also refer to the break up their relationship break up their relationship that means it is also having some autobiographical touch also therefore a lot of poetic devices are used there is simile there is metaphor there is alliteration there is onomatopoeia there is transcript appeared so i'll be discussing only one question and then our lesson will be over so let us see the question here you go let us see the question comment on the imagery of the poem so the imagery is the the image or the picture image or the picture comment on the imagery imagery is the image or the picture image or the picture so what are the, the imagery you will see that the yellow after in september sunlight yellowing leaves and the pollen seeds convey visual image of the, the autumn as clearly as the auditory imagery of onomatopoeic sound such as the, the chittering trilling whistle syrup made by the, the goldfinch and its family convey in scenting chaos the imagery of life and sustenance comes from the, the mother goldfinch feeding its young ones and the, the comparison of the, the stoking of the, the engine the imagery of the, the poem highlights the central message that the pattern of our life has several ups and downs and ranges from the, the dull inanimate to the, the chaotic or even empty this is however a person's attitude which makes life meaningful and gives a purpose to its existence so my dear children i suppose you understood the poem in a beautiful manner you will be writing the, the word meaning you will be writing the, the literal meaning the meaning that is uh, implied here you will be writing the, the indirect meaning uh, too and in this uh, way you can in in increase your vocabulary and you can make it a part in your active vocabulary with this hope let's conclude hope to see you soon let me end here see you tomorrow bye bye have a very good day